Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are ready to get our bodies right and tight this summer, honey. Oh yeah, that's right. We're talking about keeping your waistline snatch all summer long, and we have our resident doctor here, Dr. Dave, who's going to give us some summer weight loss tips. Hey, Dr. Hey. Dave, hey. great to be back, looking beautiful as always. Hey. Oh, fantastic! Good. Great to be back with Dr. you, Dr. Dave. You gave us a little bit of hey. hey. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So our viewers have been tweeting us, yeah. and so we are going to, yes. we, since we have you here, yes. I mean, we might as well answer their questions. Yeah, let's yes. answer some questions. Let's yeah. do let's that. Go. Okay, so, look at me, um, 1.25, I need my glasses. Here we go. <laughs> I love having a few cocktails poolside during the summer, but I uh. want to watch my weight, too. Do I have to cut off all my favorite summer drinks? Oh, mm. Ayana Iman. So, so this is a good one. I get this all the time, actually. So you don't have to cut them out, but you got to be smart about it. So. Mm -hmm. Remembered that alcohol has almost more calories than fat Ooh. in the oh. macronutrients, right? Oh, so oh. second yeah, to fat. Almost <laughs> so you could very easily drink 200, you know, calories in one drink. We got to be smart about it. So what I ask people to do is don't drink when you're thirsty. Don't drink alcohol when you're thirsty because uh. it goes down really fast. Drink water, quench your thirst, and then have a drink. And okay. then choose the right drinks. Okay. What are choose some of the right drinks, drinks that have less calories in them. Less calories means less alcohol by volume. Mm. So if you're a wine drinker, not oh. red wine, but the whites and the rosés. It's summertime. Yes. Makes sense. Uh -huh. Not the cocktails that got, you know, a hundred oh, different sugar. liquors and sugars in it, yes. but go with your cleaner drinks like a, you know, gin and tonic or a yep. gin and a soda. It's the, it's the, the, the soda water is the one with the zero calories. Zero it's calories. Just, it's, that's what happens. The juices is what takes us to the next level Absolutely. as far as caloric intake. That's exactly yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. smart yeah. too. Let's that's move right you. along sure to our are. next tweet here. Okay. This tweet says, why is it so hard to lose those, uh, to lose 10 pounds? Why is the last 10 pounds so hard yeah. to lose? Yeah, no, this is huge. Probably everybody watching has had this happen to them <laughs> at some point or another. It seems like that when you get to a, a plateau is mm -hmm. what the scientists call it. And here's the bottom line. Remember that equation, energy in minus energy out mm -hmm. equals your weight. Energy in, the calories you take mm -hmm. in minus the ones you use up equals your weight. Well, when you lose weight, right, when you lose weight, your metabolism comes all the way down. Your mm -hmm. metabolism slows down. That's a real thing. So we know that. Metabolism is actually part of the energy out mm -hmm. part of that equation. Okay. So your metabolism comes down and the energy out, although you're working out, you're doing the same diet you were doing, your metabolism comes down and you stop losing weight. Okay. Mm. So here's the bottom Yeah, how do you line. counteract yeah, do you that? Get, yeah. Yeah. Because we still see people that lose weight. You can go to Instagram right now and see somebody who's still losing weight, although mm. the metabolism is down. Mm -hmm. And the, the bottom line is you gotta work harder. Oh. You gotta get in the gym, do something different, challenge yourself, more weight, more, you know, longer duration of exercise. Yeah. You gotta work harder. Yeah. Okay, okay, so our next one, I'm trying to lose weight, but I'm hungry all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Anita Lewis needs to know the answer to this. Nene, what you doing, baby? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Call it Nene. So, right, Nene. <laughs> so, so this is also a, a big one as well. And if you imagine all of the complex things that are happening in your body, mm -hmm. it really is quite complex, right? Yes. Your central nervous system is involved. Your hormones are involved. Your psycho and emotional health are involved in, in having you lose weight. Mm -hmm. When people are hungry all the time, one of the big things is they're not eating like they're supposed to. Mm. This was where the six small meals came. Ah, you remember that? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, six yes. small. This is one of the reasons why they have you do six small meals. But ask the person who tried the six small meals, yes. ask them how long that lasted. Exactly, yeah. like a couple of weeks. It's it so much eating. It's so much eating, so much planning that goes into it. It just is not practical. So wow. we're about practical health. Yes. The bottom line is, number one, Eat breakfast. Mm. Don't drink breakfast. There are people I, I watching right now. Yeah. They, they know this intuitively. They're not eating breakfast. Eat breakfast. Don't drink breakfast. Now, there's some great smoothies and, and different drinks mm -hmm, that you can have, mm -hmm. but you have to eat breakfast so you're not hungry during the day. And the right. second thing is when you snack, you crunch. I want you to crunch because the crunchier things okay. have protein and fiber in it. Mm -hmm. right? okay. Carrots, broccoli, mm -hmm. almonds, yes, trail yes, mix, right? Yes. Okay. So when huh. you have protein, Right? Yeah. You actually digest a little bit slower and you're hungry less. Okay. And the fiber does the same thing. So I want you to crunch, crunch. with your carrots. Yeah. So, All right. Yeah. Don't know yeah. if I can get around to breakfast, but I definitely can crunch. But yeah. I had water and coffee today. <laughs> yeah, that the was, water and coffee. That was, your, that was <laughs> your <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> How about it? You, you get part of the thing. <laughs> All right. So we're going to move right along. We're going to yeah. go ahead and go with our next uh, tweet, yeah. which reads, I've read that cutting carbs is unhealthy, but all my friends are losing weight by doing it. Mm. Why shouldn't I do it? Yeah. And this is Tamika J's talking yeah, to you. Yeah, Tamika. So you know, this is a really, really good. So there was this whole 
carb crazy mm -hmm. yes. time, right? Yep. You see a carb, you run from it. <laughs> okay, so, so as a scientist, it is absolutely impossible to not eat a carbohydrate mm -hmm. if you're going to eat anything other than meat, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. If you eat salmon all day and that's it, you don't have any carbs. There's carbs in, you know, carrots, there's carbs in broccoli, there's really? carbs, all the stuff that we talked about. Their fruit and vegetables have carbs, mm -hmm. but it's also unnatural to do it. Your mm -hmm. body needs, needs and wants yep. carbs. Mm -hmm. Your brain's fuel of choice is a glucose. Mm -hmm. And if you don't give it glucose, guess what it does? It makes glucose from other things. Mm -hmm. So it'll take fat, it'll take protein, and try to make a, a, a glucose mm -hmm. molecule. Mm -hmm. We call it ketones. Mm -hmm. Remember the ketogenic mm -hmm. diet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is, a starvation <laughs> mode. The body says glucose is so important that if I don't get it, I'm going to try to make it. Mm -hmm. wow. Ketogenesis is unnatural. Oh, wow. my goodness. Yeah. We could do this all day, Ms. Yes, Mark. we could. Yeah. <laughs> I love the way she looks at me. But we want to thank you, Dr. Dave. You're Absolutely. always Dr. fantastic. Yeah, uh, check out Dr. Dave at DaveMontgomeryMD.com. Oh.